best $50 you can spend when considering a rocker arm. Trying to upgrade. Check it out. So the LS rocker arms are actually pretty nice as is from the factory. Um, the only problem is when you really start adding like high lift and crazy cam lobes, the problem is the outside cages, they tend to just rip right out. They wanted to basically, I'm sure, cut costs and make this uh, as thin as possible, you know, for clearance reasons and lightweight reasons. The uh, outer barrel does rotate with the rotational mass of this rocker arm. So it makes sense to keep those light. However, like I said, when you get into high lift cams and crazy cam durations, uh, they tend to blow out, uh, especially when you're backing it up with a really high pressure valve spring. So these really have a lot of tension on them and you get flex in there and this whole collar that's pressed in there will work its way out or it'll blow the side off and then you'll lose tons of needle bearings. So this kit in particular, this is a Comp Cams 13702 kit. It's a Trunnion for LS rockers. Uh, this will pretty much do your LS 1s, 2s, 3s, LT1s, LT4s. So this is what you get in the kit. It's basically a new trunnion with roller bearings. But the real benefit of this kit is that you have these. There's a groove cut in the end here. You can lock these needle bearings and whole race assemblies in place. The end is basically just a different design on the bearing, so compared to the original LS stuff. Here is a rocker arm with the trunnion removed from it. Um, as you can see, it just has a nice machined surface in there. So they pretty much just press them in and hope that they uh, stay still. And they do for the most part on stock vehicles. This is pretty much the bearing set that goes in. As you can see, they are held together with an inner race and a ton of needle bearings. This is what you have. You have the outer race. It's basically as thin as that edge. And the inner race right here. And they just basically sit together. Now, what happens is when they get some vibrations, this piece, this outer race, which actually has a interference fit on this rocker arm, it will actually push out and deflect and do all kinds of crazy stuff and blow the outer edge out like it did with this one. This barrel, actually, you can tell, see on the edge, they used to look exactly the same. How sharp that edge is. And this thing starts to act all crazy. If you get any kind of slack, you're gonna start introducing side load, and then you're gonna lose some control over the valve. They just blow out, and then you got needle bearings in your oil. So I'm gonna show you the best way to change it. So this right here is just your basic one-ton arbor press lower that down and press it right off. The thing you want to take note on when you're pressing this out, you'll notice on one side of the rocker arm you'll have these flats. So this you push the bearing into the rocker arm, but you want to have this rocker arm supported. So you want to get two sockets. Uh, one socket actually has to fit inside the rocker arm. So I've got this socket that I know fits perfect in one. So this is going to be what I'm using to push the bearings on one side. This end right here is going to be the end to capture it. So it's going to allow that whole inner race to slide into the pocket of this socket. So what you want to do is, when you're installing these, you're going to take out your rocker trunnion set. You're going to make it, want to make sure that your bearings writing is on the outside. Kind of get this bottom one lined in. With the top protruding, you can take your other bearing Make sure you have your letters facing out and slide it in. Now we are somewhat lined up. We're going to take it over to our arbor press. We're going to stick these washers on the bottom. They basically will press only the race and leave the needle bearings and the trunnion free to move around. There's two sides of these washers. Um, they don't really mention anything, but when they stamp these out, there's a sharp edge and then there's more of a tapered edge. The punch actually comes in from this side. This side will actually help you in case your trunnion's off a little bit to basically slide in. So I like to leave that side up. Same with the one I'm pressing in. Leave the soft side facing down on the trunnion. So basically we're going to sandwich this and then chalk it up and we're going to press this new bearing set in all at once. But when you're pressing it, make sure you put the trunnion about midway. 
because that's going to keep both of your bearing races aligned. And that, that's it. The rocker is moving freely, it's not binding up. Minimal movement in it. What you're going to need is a pair of snap ring pliers. Simple, you can get them anywhere. And uh, with the kit, you take some of your snap rings. Now, the thing about snap rings is the old pros will tell you there's actually a sharp side and a smooth side. So, you're going to want to install the sharp side facing outside of the rocker. Um, it's not really crucial, but in the long run, you'll see less failure that way due to snap rings popping off. So, if you look at it with like a magnifying glass, if you're unsure, but you'll see a sharp edge and a soft edge. So, I can tell visually that this is the sharp side, so we want that side facing out. So, once you get the snap ring on your pliers, you're going to want to spread it out and basically just slide it over. And you're going to see that it actually seats in the groove. Make sure it's sitting all the way in, which it is. So, do the same on the opposite side. Looks good. Visually, you get used to what they look like. And uh, just make sure this center one moves. Moves nice. You know, no binding or anything. And you're good. That one's done. Got my army of rocker arms ready to roll. So... You know, this tool is pretty invaluable. I definitely recommend getting one. And uh, if this was very helpful to you, definitely leave a like and show your appreciation. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're new and look forward to seeing more videos like this in the future. So thanks again. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys on the next one.